Uh, one of them, actually one factor that ought to be mentioned, is that everybody else in the world, every other power in the world, is exactly the same, although the West perhaps wins some prizes in cowardice and deceit. Uh, good education helps with that. Uh, but in standard behavior, if not for the, maybe not in the domain of self-adulation, but at least in behavior, uh, other actors in the world scene aren't all that much different. Uh, but more to the point here, we have to recognize that with the Cold War, true, the Cold War did end, but it was replaced right away by new and very severe problems uh, so that the enduring truths have to be put on the shelf a little longer and we can't yet show our constant face to the world. Uh, one of the enduring truths was explained by the Bush administration uh, right after the fall of the Berlin Wall, a few weeks after the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989, uh, when they sadly informed the public and the Congress that there would be no peace dividend. Well, it's true that the Russians were gone. Nobody could pretend that they were on the march any longer. But uh, that threat had been replaced by a different one. Uh, the different threat was, I'm now quoting, the technological sophistication of third world powers, uh, which requires that we keep the Pentagon budget just where it was or even going up and maintain what's called the defense industrial base, which means the whole of high technology industry. And we also must maintain our intervention forces uh, the White House pointed out to uh, inform Congress, aimed primarily at the Middle East, which is where they have been aimed for a long time. Uh, recall that this was well before the uh, Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait. Uh, this was at the time when Saddam Hussein was still a favored uh, ally and, and uh, trusted friend. Uh, but we had to maintain the intervention forces poised towards the, uh, the source of the major uh, uh, energy reserves of the world. Uh, the uh, Pentagon budget, in fact, has remained high. It's uh, now actually higher in real terms than during the Nixon years, about 85 percent of the Cold War average, and it's increasing. Uh, for a rational person, this fact gives some measure of the perceived importance of the Soviet threat during the period when we were supposedly defending ourselves from it. Uh, point's obvious, so I won't expand on it. The Pentagon budget, as you know, is now going up. Uh, the Heritage Foundation, which calls itself conservative in some odd Orwellian usage, uh, is, uh, it has presented the budget, which Congress, the Republican Congress, pretty much implementing. Anything, any government service that goes to people is down. Uh, but one part is going, actually two parts are going up. The Pentagon budget has to increase according to the Pentagon budget and, of course, the other component of the security system, the uh, imprisonment of the population, which is now taken off into the stratosphere, uh, that part has to increase too. Uh, Newt Gingrich, of course, agrees. Uh, and the reasons are explained. Uh, the reasons were explained, for example, by a spokesman for the aircraft industry for Lockheed, which happens to have its corporate headquarters in uh, Gingrich's district and just received a huge subsidy from the Clinton administration for the uh, uh, for having had to face the big problem of merging with Martin Marietta along with big subsidies for the corporate executives and so on. Uh, so an executive of uh, Lockheed Martin, the new merged corporation, pointed out that it's a dangerous world out there in which sophisticated fighter planes are being sold. So we're really in trouble. Uh, who are they being sold by? Well, mostly by us. We have about 75 percent of the international arms market at that time for the third world, and he pointed that out. Uh, executive went on to say, we've sold the F-16, the most advanced fighter plane. We've sold the F-16 all over the world. What if a friend or ally turns against us? So it's a real dangerous world out there. And there's an obvious solution to that. Namely, we should sell still more F-16s, but now upgraded ones, so the public should pay Lockheed and put money into the hands of Gingrich's constituents. We should pay Lockheed to upgrade F-16s, so they're even more dangerous. And then we should do what's called selling them to the third world, which means giving them with export-import bank loans and other guarantees that are again paid for by the public. And having created a more dangerous world out there, uh, we then have to spend 
tens of billions of dollars on F-22s uh, in order to counter the threat that's created this way. That's the obvious solution, and that's indeed what we're doing, and that's why the uh, Pentagon budget is going up with a sort of a small point on the side. Uh, incidentally, the public is overwhelmingly opposed to this. The public is by about six to one opposed to increasing the Pentagon budget. The Pentagon is opposed to it, says it doesn't want all that stuff. Uh, but there's someone more important who does want it, uh, namely people like Newt Gingrich's uh, rich constituents and others like them who have to be protected from market discipline. If they had to face the market, they'd be out selling rags or something. But they need a nanny state, a powerful nanny state, uh, to pour money into their pockets. Uh, they happen to be there, represented by the country's leading welfare freak, Newt Gingrich. That's literally correct. Uh, it's not an exaggeration, and it's furthermore well known, although it's not reported. Uh, the uh, nor is the fact that the Pentagon system has long been the country's biggest welfare program, transferring massive public funds to high-tech industry on the pretext of defense and security. And that it is a pretext is also well known and has been public, uh, certainly in Washington, since the late 1940s. Uh, for example, when the senator from Missouri, Senator Symington, an aircraft producer at that time, Secretary of the Air Force under Truman, uh, explained that the word to use is not subsidy, the word to use is security. Uh, that's the way you can get the public to pay the costs of high-tech industry, which cannot survive in an unsubsidized, competitive, free enterprise economy, as Fortune magazine pointed out, so that the government must therefore be the savior, as Business Week added, uh, and that's the role of the Pentagon, uh, providing what's called dual-use technology. That means military technology that can be adapted to civilian uses, like computers and lasers and the whole rest of the routine. Uh, and in fact, the whole framework of the advanced industrial system rests on that technique of extorting money out of the public on completely fraudulent pretenses. So quite naturally, that major state intervention in the economy through the Pentagon system, not only it has to be sustained, but has to be increased.